Hi there and welcome to the 14th Q&A session. So let's uh, quickly get to them. And the first question is from Akshay Arjun and he asks us, Hey Ranjit, help me to buy a phone with a good processor and a good GPU. I have seen your review about Galaxy S Advance and also checked out the Samsung P3 100 tablet that is newly launched. Please uh, uh, suggest me what should I buy, tablet or the phone? Uh, Akshay, uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that <clears throat> the Galaxy S Advance is a phone and that has a 4 inch screen. You can see my review for more info regarding that. On the other hand, this uh, Samsung P3100 tablet, it's a 7 inch tablet. I haven't reviewed or tested this tablet, but I just had a brief glance about the specs. Yes, though this tablet supports, uh, what do you say, uh, cellular calls, but I don't think so. It is wise for you to uh, use it like a phone. This is a 7 inch tablet, for example, the Blackberry. How would you look if you make phone calls like this? So again, first decide what is important, phone functionality or a tablet functionality. Then I would say decide. For me, if it's a phone, I would go with a proper phone instead of a tablet. And also I want to let you know is, uh, that uh, Google has launched this new uh, tablets known as uh, Galaxy Nexus 7. These are seven inch tablets and they are have some pretty uh, awesome configuration. It comes with a quad core processor and a very, uh, what they say, high resolution screen. So I would say if you're just going to buy a tablet, wait for some time because I uh, frankly see a crash in the tablet market, specifically the Android tablet market. S because the Galaxy uh, Nexus 7 is priced just at around $200. Yes, I know that it hasn't been launched yet in India, but it is expected to be launched in a couple of months. And I hope uh, Google uh, launches it with the aggressive pricing. Even let's say for around 15,000 or so, it's a great tablet. I hope this answers your question. The next question is from Karma99 and he asks us, Hello Ranjit, what's the best NAS do you recommend for home use? Again, uh, it's a very generic question I would say. First, chart down what are your requirements regarding a NAS. Do you want a single bay NAS, dual bay NAS, uh, four bay NAS? And I would say personally I like the Synology NAS. I have tested the various NASs but I feel Synology NASs are very good and they are not just basic NAS but also perform a lot of other functions. You can check out some of my videos regarding Synology to get an idea what all you can do with the Synology NAS. And the best part about Synology is not only their hardware is great, but the actual OS that they call is the disk station from which you control the entire NAS is very user friendly. The next question is from Runesh Tambath and he asks us, I love watching your videos Ranji. Thank you. I want to buy a phone that has a quad core or a dual core processor. Which phone uh, uh, do you think is good? and uh, do you think the smartphone prices will go down and by what time please help me i'm in great confusion again it's a very generic question uh, ronesh uh, the thing is that let's say if a phone is just launched uh, in the market this is specifically for an indian market generally i see the pricing to stay afloat for at least about 30 to 45 days for example let's take the case of htc one x when it was launched, it was priced around 37,000 or so, but now it's almost two months and now you can get that phone for about 33 or 34,000. So yes, the pricing of flagship phones do come down, but it is not the case always. I generally see it happen with some of the models and generally if you wait for a while, you can uh, the prices go down for about 10 to 20 percent. Uh, so again, I would say if you have a budget, definitely go for a quad core phone for example the galaxy s3 but if you do not want to spend that much for example the galaxy s3 is around 38,000 or so as of now but let's say your budget is around 30,000 or so we have great uh, what do you say dual core phones you can also go for the older galaxy s2 that's also a good phone and also you can look at the some of the sony xperia uh, p series phones they are also great i hope this answers your question and the next question is from Sandeep and he asked us, Dear Ranjit, very recently I tried to play Max Payne 3 uh, as well as Dirt 3 on my Dell XPS L502X laptop through a Bravia 32 inch LED TV. Uh, Sandeep, you did not mention uh, what resolution. I am assuming this uh, Bravia TV uh, has a native resolution of 1080p. Uh, he uh, continues, the laptop has GT 525M 1 GB graphics, Core i processor that is M2410 with 8 GB DDR3 memory. Whenever I try, try running this game on the TV, I am not able to choose a good resolution. 
also the graphics are not that great i just want to know how can i fix this also i want to know which one of the following xbox pc or the ps3 produces uh, better graphics uh, first let me talk about uh, your gaming with your laptop as you have mentioned your laptop has the graphic processor that is gt525 that's with nvidia uh, again uh, do note sandeep this is not a very powerful graphic card and when you're trying to run the what do you say games like max pain 3 or dirt 3 whatever on your L led television that has a native resolution of 1080 uh, 1080p uh, sadly this graphic card is not that powerful to uh, produce good graphics for that resolution so definitely you have to lower down the resolution and that is causing what you say uh, as you have mentioned the graphics are not that good sadly you cannot do anything about it because you cannot change the graphic card on your laptop so i hope that answers the, the question and coming to the second part of the question which is better in terms of graphics Definitely the PC will produce the best graphics because even if you put uh, build a desktop uh, PC with the i5 processor and put in a, a mid-range graphic card like a NVIDIA 560 Ti that will produce graphics any day that is better than the Xbox 360 or the PS3 because uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are comparatively very old right now. So if you want the best graphics uh, PC is the way to go. I hope that answers your question. And the next question comes from the Para Warrior, and he asks us, I want to build a gaming PC and I noticed that the AMD processors are much cheaper than the Intel processors, offering the same uh, size architecture, clock frequency and number of cores. Am I missing out on something or are AMD processors really cost effective and better for gaming than Intel ones? Uh, it's not a very easy question to answer. Yes, the AMD processors are cheaper than the Intel. For example, if you compare the i5 with a similar AMD processor, the AMD processor will be a lot cheaper. But specifically for gaming, and let's say you're using a dedicated graphic card, I would go with an Intel processor because uh, it is, again, an i5 processor with, a let's say, again, a mid-range graphic card uh, that is NVIDIA 560 uh, is better for gaming. Again, yes. On the other hand, let's say if you are not going to put a dedicated graphic card in your desktop and you just want, are going to use the processor that is on the, uh, what do you say, CPU, then yes, the AMD APUs uh, are much better because even with the latest Intel IV Bridge, the graphic processor is not as great as the AMD APU variants. I hope this answers your question. And the last question comes from Arsh and he asks, Hi Ranji, this is a good time to buy a Samsung Galaxy Note. Because everybody is saying that to buy the Galaxy S3, but I think S3 is a total flop. Or should I wait for the Note 2, which is to be released uh, by around October by rumors? Please suggest, has the Galaxy Note become outdated as of now? The thing is that Galaxy Note is a very good Android phone. It's a dual core phone, but now I would say it's uh, uh, in the mid of its life. It's been almost about eight, seven or eight months since I've, it has been launched and i have been personally i have used this galaxy note for about four or five months it's a great phone it's a dual core phone and the good thing about the galaxy note uh, is that after getting the ics update it had become a lot smoother and i would say if uh, you can uh, wait for october time frame these are rumors that the galaxy uh, note 2 will be launched during that time definitely wait but if you cannot wait i would say that you go ahead and buy the galaxy note right now uh, because it's available at a great price again i am expecting if the galaxy note 2 launches also in october or whatever time frame it will be significantly more expensive again regarding uh, you mentioned that s3 that's a total flop no surprisingly the s3 has been great and some of my close friends have purchased it and they are also very happy and the other good thing about the s3 is that uh, surprisingly even though it's a quad core phone the battery life is amazing so i hope that answers your question so this was the 14th q a session the if you would like to ask me some tech related question you can post them uh, below in the comment section and start the question with the q a tag so that i know that i need to include it in the next q a session that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video